In this video, we're going to go over installing the COM port for the ALDL cable. The uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Start, and we're going to go to Control Panel. Now, this is on XP. Your computer may be different, but uh, I'm showing it to you on an XP computer because that's what most of you have out there. Then, after I uh, have opened up the Control Panel, I'm going to go to System. And then I'm going to go to hardware. And then I'm going to go to device manager. Going through these rather rapidly, but you can always uh, review the, the video recording afterwards and, and get the pieces that you're looking for. What I'm looking here is to see if there are any existing COM ports on my PC. What uh, we're going to do when we install the ALDL cable drivers is we're going to add another COM port. You may have, like my computer does, no COM ports, or you may have one or two or any number of COM ports. The thing you want to note is if there are any COM ports um, on there, and uh, so when we add the new cable, you'll see if there are, are new COM ports. So after we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to install, or we're going to put the CD in the drive and close the drive. Your computer may pop up with a window. Um, of um, when that CD is installed or if it doesn't you can always go to my computer select the CD drive with the Red Devil River disk in it and then we're going to go to set up CDM 20814 that is a driver for the cable we'll double click that and that'll open up a box and it'll install the driver and uh, you'll see that it went through the install process rather quickly. Um, it has done, yours may take longer. It's okay if it takes longer, but when it's done, the uh, box will close. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the, US, the ALDL USB cable into the computer. The computer will do an install routine. It will find the files and automatically install that cable. You'll see that I've popped up a window that says uh, it's from the new hardware, a USB serial port. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my device manager. And you'll see now, right here, I have a COM port. And I click the plus sign, and you'll see that uh, uh, what I've done is now I have a USB serial port COM port 5. That's important. We're going to need that later on. So remember what COM port was added when we added this, uh, went through to this addition.